The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Help me out here. What's the connection between newcomers and old newspapers? It's cold sleeping in the street, and, and they come to collect the old newspapers for warm. Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive, to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but... Tell our reader something more about yourself. I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops, and well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but... We were much more concerned with the Flood, though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. Stay safe.
fast. Hey, hey, help! Help! What's going on? S sea creatures swarmed over the piers. I hid here, but these walls won't stand up to them. Please help me. What? What creatures? What are you talking about? Wild beasts. They came to feast on the blood. They're eating the dead. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? I, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. every chamber. Ah, uh, still stinks of burnt powder. Shot dead. Point blank. Ah, uh, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. Gotta be out of your head to do this to a man. spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. This would be a weird artifact in any collection. Cape Cod. There were marks here, but they've been erased. You can't take me! Eat this! <laughs> to the mare with you! Ugh. Die! Die! Yeah. <laughs> 
all drunk. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum. Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. Drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum. To the mayor with you. Ugh. Die. Die. Ugh. You can't take me. Eat this. For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. Dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. What happened on the Titania? It was horrible. A damn massacre. I heard the shots. I went out. I saw the whole thing. Sailors bleeding, dying. Blood hit the water, and then... Then the wild beasts came to feast. Miss Sanders, what kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. He seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh, did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back.
patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? My head? Uh, no complaints. I'm good. Well, you're the exception these days. We're simply overflowing with patients. I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera. But he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. Huh. to you, mister. Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite, it hurts talking. Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave. Bye. your shoulder some psycho in a bar brawl gun came out he clipped me good in the shoulder something I can help you with I'm just looking for someone uh, Captain Sanders Captain Sanders never heard of him I'm Joseph Willow you, you should probably look somewhere else get better soon I warned you. I warned you.
Let me rest. Let me rest. That's funny. The records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew, none of them deserved what happened to them. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You... Uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. What were you looking for underwater? The cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... Then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. Could you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon.
Take the patient's things and throw them in storage. <laughs> 